Hi everyone, I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com and today we'll be talking about third-party browsers for the iPad. Before we start though, it's important to bear in mind that all of the third-party browsers are based upon the WebKit rendering, thanks to Apple's restrictions. That is, they're essentially just layers on top of the Safari core. Now some browsers like Opera Mini mix this up a bit by compressing the page in the cloud before rendering it. But if you're hoping to find a native version of Chrome here, well, you're not going to. What separates these browsers are the features and the way they present. I've picked out five different browsers today, either because I think they're the best, free or paid or otherwise, or because they bring something unique to the table. So let's get started. This roundup wouldn't be complete without mentioning everyone's favourite browser, Chrome. The primary benefit here being that you can sign into your Google account and sync with Chrome Desktop to access favourites, passwords and bookmarks. So again, if you're a resolute Chrome user, then the ability to sync up a mobile could be the deciding factor for you. Other than that, it's just the Chrome you know and love, without extensions and without the super fast rendering of the desktop browser. As I mentioned earlier, it's still built on top of Safari, so don't expect it to be any faster. Still, if you do use Chrome on the desktop and not Safari, this is probably going to be your default choice. It's free on the App Store. Opera Mini uses cloud servers to compress pages before sending them to your device, and generally speaking this does make the web browsing experience speedier, and it saves you significant amounts of bandwidth, perhaps 90% shaved off some original web page sizes. It also breaks the rendering of certain pages like MakeUseOf.com with missing fonts and broken scripts. You can also see this on Amazon where it has image overlays broken. In terms of additional features, it's fairly limited, but you'll find a baseline standard of saving pages offline and syncing with the desktop editions of the browser. The search and URL bar are separate though, which may bug some users. For bandwidth conscious users that don't mind a broken web experience sometimes and regularly need to use limited 3G connections, this may however be a trade-off worth making. Opera Mini is free. Puffin is the only browser to support Flash. Yes, you can get Flash on your iOS device. Here for instance, I'm running this stupid game where you tap to make a bird fly over obstacles. There's only one key to play. It's never going to catch on. However, I should note that when I was testing, the performance was terrible and the game unplayable with so much lag. The free version of the browser is ad-supported and Flash only works in off-peak hours between 8am and 4pm. But you can buy the full version for $4, which works any time. To facilitate gaming, it even features a virtual mouse and gamepad. Puffin uses cloud technology to compress pages and enable the Flash content, so you do actually get a noticeably faster browsing experience. However, I also noticed some screen tearing and visual artifacts. Puffin has a good selection of features. Of note is the ability to download direct to Dropbox, which avoids the whole rigmarole of having to transfer from the iPad. Just download straight to Dropbox and it'll be found on all your devices. Puffin is at least unique, but unless you really need that Flash content, I wouldn't personally recommend it. There are better browsers on this list. Next up is Coast, a free browser also from Opera made specifically for the iPad, rather than just a port of their existing mobile browser, and as such it offers a compelling experience, though perhaps not to everyone's taste. Coast is a beautiful full screen browser that launches straight into a favourites like pinboard of sites. There's a single search URL entry bar that makes helpful suggestions as you type. Once you've opened a site, there are simple back and forward gestures, and you can jump straight back to your board of favourites from the icon at the bottom, from which you can then save your current page to your list of favourites. The interface itself is really snappy, but web pages won't load any faster than Safari for the first time, and there's no more advanced spe features to speak of. You're either going to love Coast or hate it, but if you regularly visit only a few web pages and don't want all the other nonsense, Coast might just be for you iCab is for hardcore tablet browsing. It is the mothership of third-party browsers, packed full of features. Superficially, their dress bar looks a lot like Safari. It's really been done with iOS in mind, which is nice. It's probably easiest to just describe iCab as a Safari on a lot of steroids. You can even add something to your Safari list from within iCab. There's a full screen mode for uninterrupted browsing with discrete buttons that remain around the edge. 
there's a ridiculous number of modules or plugins you might call them enabled by default like a pin to Pinterest or add to Plex video queue even a version of Firebug for developers though of course you can disable those you don't want appearing there's automatic form filling which you can password protect if you need to. There's a download manager with any type of file supported which can later be transferred to your PC or Mac. There's support for multiple user accounts, each with their own settings, password and color themes. And there's even a built-in ad block using a filters feature which might speed up your browsing a little but if you want the websites you love to actually stay afloat you really shouldn't use this to block advertising please. Maybe just block those annoying Facebook buttons. You know what, the list of features really is never ending. If you can think of something, it's probably included in iCab. For all this, you would, of course, expect to pay, but it's only $2. An absolute bargain. What are you waiting for? This is, of course, by no means an exhaustive list. A quick search for web browser on the App Store will bewilder you with the choice. So if you think I've missed one that really brings something unique to the table, then feel free to get in touch in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as check out the full site for a huge range of great tutorials, reviews, and free ebooks at makeusoft.com.